Yo, hello YouTube friends. Welcome back to my little channel. And I am back with another video about my 118 scale monster truck here. The 18859 high boxing ramp edge. So this is just a little small update and give these guys some advice. You know, and if I'm wrong, somebody correct me in the comments, but I hate these bodies. And as you can see, mine is a different color. And the reason why is that because I painted it through stickers around that I could find um, to hide the cracks that were that I accumulated just from doing small little flips and jumps, mind you. And the last bad crack was, let me get this light in here, right here. As you can see, it's coming from the windshield all the way. Well, it starts from here, and it cracked all the way down to the windshield. But it's a big chunk. This, oh my God, I just lifted it right there. If you can see the, the little decal or sticker I put on there, if you look, like, right there, right there on the edge, you can see it's lifted. Like, even the sticker's not going all the way down like it should be. I put super glue on it, oh, clear fingernail polish to keep the window, from, like the windshield, from falling up. And um, yeah, and it's still like I think I still need some right here on the outside, but it's still hasn't gone back in place. And I've got new cracks right here. And I don't bash this guy. So let me turn this light off. This sticker is reflecting. I didn't know this was a reflective sticker. <laughs> That's pretty. That'd be good when I go out for nights. But um, yeah, I don't really bash this guys. I just do like small jumps. You know, I really baby this thing. Um, I'll do like donuts in a dirt, like you know, or loose gravel or something like that, and jumps. But I don't bash it. You know, I very rarely put it in fat in normal mode. It's always in slow mode. Does it's, it's plenty fast for me. Um, I'm not a big thing, I'm not big on like speed, I just, you know, want to do like certain things with monster trucks too, but, um, and yes, you can see my front plate came off, I have to remount that here pretty soon, but, yeah, the, uh, this is the reason why I painted it and threw all these little extra stickers on it to try to hold it together and it's still not working. Um, just the little flips that I'm doing when I, you know, land wrong or whatever from doing the jumps is like just destroying the body. Yeah. So in my opinion, I think hard bodies are the best thing for monster trucks. You know, cause they, you know, these toy grade plastics, you know, they, they, especially like New Bright, with my experience, you know, they've lasted me like for years and um, I really wish I still had some especially a couple for this truck but um they lasted for like years i mean i'm just i mean i'll abuse i mean s simply abuse like the new bright monster trucks i mean not you no know, intentionally but i mean just you know just trying to do things like jump them off you know make them go down hills and get a little bit more speed and you know jump them off of ramps and everything and Man, those bodies will take a beating and still go hard. Now the rest of the truck will like break, <laughs> but the bodies will still be great. So I would kill for a new bright battery, a new bright body. Excuse me, right about now or any type of hard body um, shell or you know body for this guy. Um, I'm thinking about. I think I'm, I'm going to go to the mall today, so I might look into getting this 3d getting a 3d printed um body see how much that's gonna cost and probably get like a little toyota tundra or tacoma body for this guy i like toyota trucks i really do toyota and chevy trucks i really love so um you know just i like toyota for the you know you know for performance wise and looks chevy just mostly just for looks but I don't know. It all depends. What you know, what looks good, what I think is gonna look good on her. But I've got wheels coming, guys. Got wheels, rims, and tires coming. 
and got shocks coming as well. It's gonna take a while because it's, <laughs> it's getting delivered from I think from Japan or China to Puerto Rico, so it's gonna take a little bit, but it's on its way. And also, I got little some little other little things got coming for this guy that I'll let it be a surprise. Let it be for the other for the next video, but yeah, guys. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I never really was a big fan of these on trucks. Cars, like RC cars, like drift cars and everything, yeah. Because I, I can understand, you need it lightweight, but, man, this is just, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't like it. And I wish I had a, a body to put on here when I got it like I did my drift car. I already had a body waiting for that guy, but, yeah, poor plenty, but. Yeah, it's, all, it's, it's, it's just all jacked up, but for now, this is going to just be my practice body to where I can do jumps. I'll be able to do stunts without tearing up the body, you know, learn how to land it correctly. And then I don't have to worry about messing up my hard body. And I could put a custom paint job on a hard body. But yeah, guys, that's all I wanted to sh show you guys, you know, just an update on this. You know, I don't know how you guys feel. Let me know. If you think, if you like hard bodies or like some bodies, like I said, I'm, I'm team hard body all the way when it comes to these things. And it's easier too, cause some of the hard bodies have already have like plastic coverings for the lights and everything. You know, all you have to do is just do a little reaming or drilling out, like, you know, light drilling, light reaming, and you got a spot to mount some LEDs, so. But yeah, guys, that's, that's it for this. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And like I said, if you guys know any really good, strong bodies that you know I can get a hold of, that'll work better than a hard body, let me know because I'm all for it because this is ridiculous and it's like it's bumming me out because I'm all about, you know, cosmetic as well as performance with my RC. So, alrighty, guys, thanks for tuning in. As always, be safe, be strong, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.